Okay, so good morning and welcome to the Billabong Zoo here in Port Macquarie. My name's Blake and we're here this morning with our two red pandas. Their names are Rato and Tito. They're both about 10 years of age. Billabong Zoo has been their home since they were three. What I have for them this morning is one of many different feeds that they get through the day. So when we're doing sort of training conditioning work, we might be doing some target training with their target stick. We might be doing scale training to weigh them. Then we use higher value rewards like a grape or some dried fig or some pear or some apple and then just just like your kids at home, it's important they eat their veggies. So we also have a bowl that they've left with through the day. And this is sweet potato, corn, all of that good sort of stuff. There's also a very special red panda pellet in there that's specifically made for red pandas, but it's probably the least favorite thing that we provide. Now, most of what a red panda would eat in the wild would be bamboo. And from the stalk of the bamboo, they're usually just after the bamboo leaf. They can eat some of the more moisture dense shoots if they're quite new, but like a nice hardy stick of bamboo, they really can't process anything like that, so they won't consume it. So most of the food sources that they do eat, they're gonna find in the trees, which means that for them, it's fantastic that they're so purpose-built for the arboreal lifestyle that they lead. The red panda's tail, it does help counterweight as they move along. It does help maintain body temperature. They can wrap it around themselves and over their little head when they sleep for warmth or if they're just nesting up in the tree. Clever. So one of the really useful things that they have when they're climbing is located in the base of their palm and it's what we refer to as a false thumb. Their thumb isn't dexterous like our thumb, so it's stationary and it's more or less just their wrist poking out of their base of their hand a little bit further than it usually would, creating a small hook in that area. So when they move, they actually pigeon toe their feet in one after the other, and it looks kind of awkward, but the reason they do that is because they're looping that little thumb over and clamping right down on the tree or the perch to give themselves just a little bit of added stability. Okay, so thanks again for tuning in. Red pandas are one of the many animals that you can come and see be fed daily here at the zoo. And also, with our red panda encounters, meet exactly like I'm doing just here today. Meet and give them a little bit of a pat, get some photos of your own. So, Rato, Tito and myself, hope to see you again here at Billabong Zoo sometime in the very near future.